May 16, 1954, Dwight Eisenhower was president. A new car cost $1,000, and Red Sox legend Ted Williams had eight hits in one game. That same day, the television station you're watching right now went on the air for the first time. Greg Lagerquist has our special anniversary report, WGME 13, the first 50 years. Those first days survive only in memory and black and white photos. A new set and cameras, a curious crowd on Congress Street. May 1954, WGAN 13, later WGME 13, was born. What I really was was the poor man's Captain Kangaroo in Portland, Maine. Captain and the kids, still known as Captain today. People stop me on the street, call me Captain. Captain Lloyd Knight was there in 54 wearing many hats, building sets, singing, then doing his signature kids show for 14 years, starting in 59. I have to pay tribute to all those people who made it come together. We, they held it together so that it's lasted this long. It came together as WGAN. The letters stood for Gannett, for founding father Guy Gannett of newspaper fame. From day one, TV was a big deal. Channel 13 was home to stars like Martha Ray and Milton Berle, and viewers and advertisers quickly fell in love. Just talk to the woman who uses a whirlpool, and she'll tell you it washes like a dream. But from the start, the real strength of 13 was knowing much of what you saw was live from southern and central Maine's own backyard. Watch that noise. We'd like to send the whole show out today, by the way, to David Kramer of Alderboro, 25th birthday, December the 11th, requested by Dale Kramer. Channel 13 made local stars out of entertainers like Ken McKenzie, shows often adapted right from radio. And from the start, there was local news. And sometimes the news could be entertaining. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. See that? O'Rill's giving him a break already. Luckily, the bear was muzzled, but you could get away with more in earlier days, like the time weather forecaster Bob O'Rill didn't know the technicians you, Frank, changed his background. Really don't want to talk about the weather. Things are really getting bad. I but as time flowed on, the news look changed. WGAN TV's News 13. Bruce Berlinger, Kim Block. Hello, Maine. Jim. In 1984, soon after the poised young anchor on the right arrived on the scene, WGAN became WGME 13, a legal requirement when we split from the radio station. But through it all, your news has always been live and local, a mirror on Maine. We're working to keep you informed. The sales tax issue was kept off the floor until this afternoon. The flames can still be seen for miles. Let's go now to Jeff for the latest. Jeffrey? Well, Kim, as you just said, a spectacular fire is raging uh, behind me here at the Edwards Manufacturing Mill in Augusta. And the pictures you see now tell it all. Nothing but a charred shell of a building. Stormwatch update. I'm Dave Santoro. Radar now showing a heavy thunderstorm. This is the one I'm watching now, just passing north of Laconia. <laughs> There are some sizable branches that are getting knocked over by the weight of all of this ice. Yes, in 50 years, there have been tough times. And we've got the best view in town of the Tall Ships Parade today, Kim. This is a thrilling sight behind us going on. We do, and the parade has just begun. But good times, too. And when you had fun, we had fun. Oh, probably not more than 20 or 30,000 of our closest <laughs> friends, do you think? <laughs> that is quite a sight down on the Eastern Brown this afternoon. But as the station sailed through 50 years, there have been milestones. In 1959, the station built a new tower in Raymond, which was briefly the world's tallest structure at 1,619 feet. In 67, we went full color. In the mid-70s, the news went from film to videotape. This is the cotton machine. That's the newest piece of gear that we have. All the commercials that come in, we transfer on these cars, like, one, like this one here. Coming up tonight on WGME News 13 at 6 o'clock. And in 2003, WGME 13 went digital, broadcasting in HDTV, ushering in a whole new era. WGME 13, covering southern and central Maine.
from the Associated Press Station of the Year. This is your news. WGME News 13 at 6 o'clock. But no matter what lies ahead, WGME 13 will still be what it's been for 50 years. A part of our lives. Friendly country, helping hand country, 13 countries, you. Good oh, he used to entertain at our Christmas parties. Aren't you guys sorry you missed that? Yeah, that <laughs> oh, yeah. is true. Captain, you still so look the same. Fun. Yeah, I, I think. I think Kim looks Me? better. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I hope not. Years. <laughs> well, the other thing that stands out, we hired Dave Santoro when he was 12. We had to, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, I know. That was fun. Good. Nice <laughs> job. <laughs> station has a great <coughs> it's been great. And coming up at 6 o'clock, I want to say real fast, yeah. before you, we're going to have some more stuff on uh, on all the technological, technological? Yeah, it's been well, last week. changes too. that have happened in the last 50 years. First of all, we can speak after 50 years. But, uh, yeah, right, right. Anyway, well, that's coming up at 6. Yeah, there have been lots a, of stuff a few technical changes over the years. Mm -hmm. Just a couple. You have a great sports we story. We do. We're